Hey guys, what's up? The shirt talking. Welcome back to my channel. Today, video is about Romance in Saga Reuniverse, and we'll be trying to reroll on this game in a very fast process. First of all, you do not need to reroll on this game. I'm just doing this because I know a lot of people like to reroll on you know, gacha games. This game is very well balanced, it gives you more than enough free characters to play through the whole story. It's a PvE game, story focused game, and then you really do not need to stress yourself with rerollings. But I'll be talking about how you do this if you really want to do. Let's just click on touch. You see that my server is America. Uh, you can choose your server when you start. Then you just click here on new game. Uh, the game will ask some other questions. You have to accept this one. And then you have to decline or not if you are on the roof or not. I'm not. So I click on no. And this one is about the AdSense if you want it to be uh, personal or not. I'll just click on no. Choose high resolution. Then it, the game will start if you want to uh, skip the tutorial. Just skip the tutorial, you do not lose anything because of that, and if you want to watch the, the starting tutorial of the game, I will just upload this later. Just click on skip, save you a lot of time, click on OK. The game will start downloading some stuff, I will not download it on this video because I'm using a root process that do not need to download everything once you want to reroll. So let's just pause the video. Okay, now the video is back. We are now on the login screen. You can see that we are you get a lot of login bonuses. The first one doesn't really matter. But what really matters is this this one here because of the grand global release. We are getting some nice amount of gems. We are also getting 9000 from pre registrations. Just click on okay, try to skip all of this. There this is the last one. Okay, so we won't have any more. And just close the news. Go to your present box. Click on claim all, okay, we will claim all, you'll see that we're getting 10,000 gems and a lot of free summon tickets. We will also receive some um, characters from free, there are at least two SS styles just by launching the game and some special tickets for summon. I will show you where you can check your characters, as soon as you got this you can click on edit and then you can click on styles. This is what you get by just starting the game. You got Harold uh, and Nectar. And these two are very useful characters, exactly. They are not that bad. This game has a lot of different uh, characters and styles, and some of them are very good, even through they are starting the game. And, well, we already saw we do not want Hector and this Geraldon. This Geraldon is not summonable, but Hector is. We also have another character that you do not want to summon. It's Monica, because you can get her from free as well. Now we click on back. And you can already go to the summon page, very easy, very fast. Choose not this banner. You can do it once in a day here, and it's a free summon. Not this banner as well. And then we got here to the Platinum Ticket Summon. And it's 5% chances for an SS, it's a very good rate for a gacha game. And you will have a 100 Platinum Tickets, and then one gold Platinum Ticket that will give you a 10 times summon with an SS guarantee. So what you want to get is just this image here, I'll show you. Uh, the top recommendations here, you can see the first one is Gustav. He is a very good damage dealer with tanking abilities. The other one is Cat that uses strike damage, or in this game is called Blunt. Uh, we do not have many options on this, starting with her it will be pure. She also increases the gold drop from the game. We also have um, Blue. Blue is a mage, we don't have many mages and he's very strong. We have Azami, she's one of the best physical damage dealers for some time when you start in the game. We also have um, Alkaiser. Alkaiser is very strong as well, also strike over blunt damage. Then we have Albert. Albert is the second to last on the list and he is the strongest of them now for starting. In my opinion, in my honest opinion, Azami will deal more damage, but Albert carries one very specific role that it's a tank with a parry ability parry will negate all damage so it's a good option for you to start unless we have guinea she's a debuffer with three options of debuffing that will help you with some boss fights all the other characters are still viable you can use them some of them are very strong like katarina but she's farmable or most of them are farmable either now or sometime in the future so do not stress out like i said this game is very uh, balance it, you can progress without having to rely on a specific character. So now that we're talking about this, this image will be on the, descri the description of the video. Let me remove this, then you just go here, and like I said, you can summon uh, 20 times with the platinum tickets, but it has to be 5 times by 5 times. We will just do one here so you can uh, see the how it is. It has this image here, you just have a different 
full animation depending if you have an S or SS on your sumo. You can click on skip, but you can also watch this to see if you are getting an SS style. The more explosions and things appear, the more chances you have. So you can see here, we are not getting an SS style this time, but I'll show you the, the other animation for the guarantee. Clicking on here, uh, see there's some different animations, there's some monsters appearing on screen. And when the machine explodes, it means that you guarantee an SS. This time it didn't explode, so the guarantee will be uh, a normal one. Probably you want only one SS style. Just keep clicking. You do not need to watch the full animation. Okay, this is our guarantee. It's a Zami. It's a very good 5 scale damage dealer. A good recommendation. And a good one for you to start. I still recommend Albert more than her because damage dealers are easier to get. And Albert is more uh, unique because he's a tank with a parry. Okay, now you will just check it out to see if you got the, the characters that you want. I do recommend you guys only spend it in Platinum Tickets and the 10 times guarantee and try to get 3 SS, it's good enough for a starting. Do not stress out with this game because you're re farming and summoning quite a lot. There are ways to get 3 Platinum Tickets, there are ways to get these tickets from Spiral Corridor, they will also give you another characters by free. Most of this game, uh, most of the content on this game give you a lot of uh, tickets that can give you a lot of things for free. So I do suggest you to not spend your gems with this banner because it's the starting banner, we'll be getting more banners and this game has limited time units that will keep uh, coming back because it's more that they are seasonal than just limited, they will come back in some different banners, so wait for better units, do not spend your gems, okay? So this is it, well let's just click back and now if you got the characters that you wanted, you just start the game, if you didn't, well this is time for re-rolling. Now we will uh, close up this uh, app and we will have something here. If you have Android, it will be very easy. If, even if you have root, it will be even easier. So now let's just click here. I have this app called Amaze. It's a very good app for uh, managing uh, folders and things like that. And if you have uh, root, you just go here on your settings and then you go here on the, on the end of it and there's root, you just turn it on. And then when you go here, you can simply click on this and then click on root. And then you have to go through data. Then you choose um, data again. Then you go to the end of the, the page. You see this one here, uh, Google Play, RS, RS, double H, double H. This one is the folder that you need. Then you go to files. Then you go to player press, uh, long press, and then you click on delete. Okay, we just did that, and now the game will relaunch without your account, so you can already play that. If you do not have a root access, you simply have to go here on settings, then you go to settings, and then let's just get a better way here, and then you go to apps, you choose your app here, being Romancing Saga, okay, let's search for here, it, it is here, then you go to store, and then you clean your data. This is the only way. This is also the only way for iOS. And well, if you do not have a root process, this will be the best way to do this. So guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I'll be releasing a lot of videos for Romancing Saga. I hope you guys can uh, get your characters and be happy because this is a very good game. Very free to play able. And I know a lot of people will enjoy. Okay, thank you. And we we'll see each other on the next video. Bye.